In this video, we will try to solve another tricky question on Harrod Domer growth model. The question is like this Harrod's growth model is given is under that is S subscript T is equal to A by T, where S uh, T shows the savings at time period T is equal to A by T. Okay, and this uh, the value of A lies between 0 and 1, and investment that is I T is equal to B. Uh, y t minus y t minus 1 that is and the value of b is greater than 0 and s t is equal to i t okay now what does this tell us they, this first uh, shows us uh, this a tells us the fraction of income that is saved okay and this b tells us the fraction of income that is invested okay and we have s t is equal to i t as i have shown you uh, in the earlier video about the Harold Omer uh, model, what were its assumptions? First assumption was whatever is saved is invested. Okay. Also, this was the first assumption, and second assumption was that. Uh, let me uh, recall uh, the second assumption was like investment uh, leads to capital formation. That is, investment uh, leads to capital formation. That is capital formation okay so uh, for the Harrods growth model the condition must be that our savings should be equal to investment that means st should be equal to it that that means we have to uh, i will write here for full for full capacity capacity growth let me write this in horror what we have we should have savings should be equal to our investment okay now we just plug the value of st and it and equate them so what is our st that is equal to a y t should be equal to now it is equal to this uh, b y t minus y T minus 1 now what is this yt and yt minus 1 it is simply uh, the income uh, uh, let us say in 2021 minus the income in 2020 okay so income in the current year minus income in the preceding year okay so this condition must be satisfied uh, for the growth in case of Harold Omer model okay now we uh, rearrange this we can write it like this a our b just transposing this b on lhs we have yt minus yt minus 1 is equal to we just transpose this yt here okay or we can write it like this a our b let me use another color it's not getting visible here and we have now what is yt minus yt minus 1 that shows gdp uh, in the current year minus gdp in the preceding year and what is the difference between these two it is we can write it del y del yt upon yt okay now what is uh, what is this del yt upon yt it shows us the growth okay it shows us the warranted growth in case of Harold Domer because change in income divided by income will give us the growth model here now we don't have to do anything with this actually we will rearrange this again okay I was just showing you uh, our G should be equal to G should be equal to A divided by B now to uh, get to the question what will we do we will just uh, rearrange here we have a y t is equal to multiplying this b b y t here minus b y t minus one okay or we can write it uh, like this if we uh, transpose this a y t on the rhs and this on the lhs so what we have we have then b y 
t minus 1 because it is negative b by t minus 1 it will become positive here is equal to we have here b by t and when we transpose this will get subtracted so we have a y t or we can write b y t minus 1 is equal to taking y t common y t if we take common we are left with b minus a or our or we just rearrange this y t b minus a is equal to b y t minus 1 or we can write like this y t is equal to now taking this b minus a term to the rhs it will get divided so we have b over b minus a y t minus 1 okay so this is the relationship between the current year's gdp and the last year's gdp so we have to see uh, the growth condition here what is the growth condition in this case okay now here what uh, we have to be very cautious here this is uh, let us say this is current year's gdp i will write here current year's gdp this yt minus uh, one is last year's last year's gdp okay now the gdp at the current year is equal to this term times the gdp at the last year that means uh, this term should be greater than one here why i am saying this should be greater than one let us say this is our last year gdp and let us say it is uh, 100 let us say it is 100 million dollars anything in any uh, random number and uh, let us say this number this, this b divided by b minus a why i am saying it should be greater than one let us suppose it is less than one let us say it is 0 0.5 okay so be careful here i will write it here like this then our yt current year gdp would be equal to if i assume this b divided by b minus a is equal to 0 0.5 i will write 0 0.5 times the last year gdp which i have yt minus 1 which i have assumed to be 100 let us say this is 100 million or billion whatever you write so that means our current year's gdp would be 0.5 into 100 is equal to 50 million okay that means our current year's gdp is 50 million and last year's gdp was that is y t minus 1 is 100 million okay so what we are uh, seeing here we are seeing that the gdp of the current year is less than the gdp of the last year that is our yt is less than y t minus 1 if we assume the value of this b divided by b minus a as uh, greater than 0 only okay what i am trying to see what i am trying to uh, teach you here the simple thing that this b divided by b minus a should be greater than one not greater than zero okay if it is greater than zero then this 0 0.5 is also greater than zero 0 0.5 is also greater than zero when we plug this value here we got here the negative growth because uh, we have less gdp than the previous year's gdp here okay uh, my only uh, submission here is that these options are not right only option that would uh, that will satisfy 
the growth condition is that our let me rub uh, so let us rub it again let me rub it here growth condition will be only growth will be only possible when this number that is b divided by b minus a okay when it is greater than one then the growth will occur in this error model okay and i have shown you if it is greater than if b divided by b minus a is greater than zero okay then we can take b divided by b minus a uh, is equal to let us say 0 0.5 which i have told you which is greater than zero uh, sorry yes uh, which is greater than zero so this condition is satisfied here and when we plug the values our yt was yt is equal to 0 0.5 times uh, the gdp we, we what we assumed is 100 million and we get here current year gdp is 50 only okay current year gdp is 50 but uh, the previous year's gdp is 100 so we are uh, we are experiencing here negative growth but when we are uh, uh, when we uh, talk about the growth we mean the growth in the positive direction here okay so if we take b divided by b minus a greater than one then this condition would be hold and we can uh, also show you here uh, show here let us say we have b divided by b minus one sorry b minus a uh, let us say it is equal to 1.5 which is greater than one okay what i am uh, uh, i am here assuming because i am telling you that these options will not be feasible uh, if this herod's growth model uh, has to show any kind of growth okay so b divided by b minus a should be greater than one and if we put b divided by b minus a as 1.5 then our current gdp would be equal to that is uh, this uh, b divided by b minus a is 1.5 into the previous year gdp which i assumed 100 and here we can see yt is equal to 100 into 1.5 is 150 okay and here we can see this is current year's gdp current year gdp and our last year gdp was 100 and here we can experience growth because last year's gdp was only 100 current year gdp is 150 but this condition will only occur if this term is greater than one and not greater than uh, zero uh, which was given as the options in this question okay so uh, this is how i uh, take it or here we can also see that our b that this numerator should be greater than denominator or we should have here a an improper fraction if we have improper fraction then it would be greater than zero if it is proper fraction then it is less than zero we will not experience any growth so this is how i have uh, experienced it uh, i'm not sure whether i have done it correctly or not i will love to be rectified uh, actually this question was asked uh, i guess in the ugc net economics exam um, some years ago and the options were given like this but i am not satisfied uh, with those options and i will love to be rectified if i have done any mistake in calculating this thank you